Hi, George. Thank you very much for talking to Bliss. It's OK. Um, can you um, give us a bit of an introduction to, or remind us about Eddie? Uh, Eddie is a, he's a young, he's the young English cheeky chappy that likes to think he's in charge. And to be fair to him, in the second movie, he is in charge. He's the manager of the crew. He's, he's the boss. And uh, <laughs> he knows it. He knows it. And um, in the movie, he's the guy that takes Ash, who has completely embarrassed himself to the world of dance. And he's the one that says, come here, I'm going to fix you up and take you on this tour. We're going to get a crew together. We're going to fix all the problems. And we're going to be on top at the end. He's, he's a dreamer. He's a dreamer. And he... Uh, he dreams well and gets his dreams. His dreams will come true. He goes one extra and travels <coughs> the whole of Europe to put together the best crew ever. Yes, he does. Um, if you were going to do that, who would you put in your ultimate celebrity uh, crew? Oh, that is... Uh, that's, that's, that's good. That's, that's really good. OK. When you say celebrity crew, does that mean are they going to dance? If I had to choose, like, dancers, or would you... Or do you... Uh, good question. I... Mm. You can decide. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make them dance. Yes, I and like I, that. And I'd, I'd, I'd go for... Okay, who would I go for? I'd go to America first. That'd be the first place to start, because there's, there's a number of people. I would get Chris Brown. Mm. I'd make him dance, because he's great. He's a good dancer. He's getting better as well. I'd come back to England, and then I'd take... Who would I take? I'd take One Direction and teach them to dance. Because they're, they're, I'd keep it an all-boys crew because the female audience would love that. And then I'd go to... Where else would I go? I think I'd keep it at that. That's, that's, that's seven people. That's enough for a crew. I like that. Yeah. I think you could teach One Direction some moves. I think you could. I think they're teachable. I think they are, yeah. <laughs> they could be. And if you had them in your crew, who would you take on? Well, that's the question. Hmm. That is a very good question. Whoever wants it, that's what it would do. Whoever, the most confident. That's, it doesn't matter, you're going to win anyway. Right? Well, well, you say that, but you know, people can pick <laughs> up pretty quick. <laughs> people, some people can pick up pretty quick, but yeah, whoever wanted it. Um, what's scarier, uh, taking on um, a, a dance challenge or taking on Simon Cowell? A dance challenge? <laughs> oh, completely. I mean,. To take on Simon Cowell, it's 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 a you know you're gonna get a blunt answer. If he doesn't like you, that's it, goodbye. Like, but with a dancer, you have to go through rounds. It's like boxing. It's like, would you rather just be KO'd, or would you rather go through twelve rounds of, of getting getting your ass whooped? Like, <laughs> do you know, it's it's exactly like that. And I'd rather I'd rather be told by Simon Cowell that I couldn't dance than you know go through a dance battle where I've got four guys in my face constantly at me, knowing that I've got to come back at them when they're better than me. Yeah, it's it's it's, oh, it's tough. Like that. That's pretty frightening. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> now, Eddie's a bit of a charmer. Yes. Um, have you ever had to talk your way out of a situation or into a situation? All the time. How do you All do the it? time. I just. I don't know what it is, right? But I have a very good way with words, and I have no idea why. Because my mum and dad don't. Nobody in my family does. But um, I'm quite good at getting out of situations. <laughs> yeah, I, I think. But I think I've had to be because I kind of was 14 and got thrown into like pressure at an early age so I, I kind of learned very quickly how to avoid situations so I've, I've been practicing for four years now I'm getting good at it I'm getting good at getting out of situations. Ash and Eva try to impress each other with their dance <coughs> moves have yes. you ever tried to woo a girl by doing a bit of a funky chicken or all the time all, without the funky chicken but I, I've I've completely all the time all the time it's the one thing that I if you've got it flaunt it why not and I think girls have a really good respect for boys that can dance because it's considered quite a female thing if a boy does it, I think I've always had a respect from girls where they think, oh, he's a dancer, I respect that. Girls, I think girls like it, so I thought, you know, I'm, yeah, I'll use it to my advantage. Why not?